Alright, lesson 7 for the beginners. Okay, um, by this time you should have two songs in your repertoire, meaning your collection, uh, for the 4 4 time signature uh, strumming technique. Okay, <clears throat> if you are just now watching this lesson and do not know what I am or will be talking about in this lesson, please go back to lesson 4 or 5. Uh, to get the basic of one, four, and five major chords in the key of C, because uh, we're talking about still continuing talk, to talk about the transposition here, and in that lesson you will also see the chart I provided you uh, to fill in um, for the chord progressions that we'll be using, you know, when you do the transposition. Okay. For this lesson, we are going to use the song by the Beatles, Bye Bye Love. This is going to be your third song for your repertoire. Um, <clears throat> and here it is in the next segment, okay? Just doing the downstroke, you can, you're still not feeling the 4-4 uh, four, four time signature, continue doing that, but make sure you practice the uh, down, down, up, up, down, 4-4 uh, four, four time signature, because once you get that, the rest of the striming techniques that will be following uh, will be a lot easier for you, okay? So anyway, let's see. All right, <clears throat> is how it goes, okay? For those of you that are doing, able to do the down, down, up, up, down, go ahead and follow me, okay? It goes like this. And, bye, bye. two lessons about feeling the music when changing chords. In this song actually there are more than three chords. There is one missing chord. I know this may be too early to ask you this question but since we are also learning how to feel the music, where the chord change should be, where do you think the missing chord should be? Most likely um, <clears throat> at this point of your learning, I do not expect you to find this. However, this will help you increase that feeling of finding the chord for whatever music you may be learning on your own in the future. So, 
in that note, you probably guessed it already. From the lyrics I gave you earlier. Yes, fill in the blanks. <laughs> I know you would most likely just copy it from the first verse. However, if you are tru truly, if you are true to yourself, you will try to feel exactly what chord should be in that blank given the chord progression I gave you. Doing this would be such an accomplishment for yourself. So good luck and enjoy practicing. Alright, um, our next lesson is going to be on the 3-4 time signature strumming. Remember, if you have not really gotten that 4-4 time signature, keep practicing that until you get it so that um, um, otherwise just do the downstroke strumming okay but concentrating on the changes of the chord slowly so that your finger your muscles in your finger will finally find exactly where it's supposed to end in the finger fretboard okay anyway I see you on the next lesson. Thank you for watching.